on that part of the game. All right, let's talk a little bit about the guitars. At any time, please feel free to, to interrupt me. Let me know if you have any questions or just want to make any comments about Gibsons or just guitars in general. Back in the day, pretty much back in, into the 20s, all instruments were small. Basically, mandolins were the instruments that everyone played. Uh, Martin made guitars from like the mid 1800s, but all their guitars were small body guitars. Gibson's first guitars that were flat, that were built in this style came out in the mid 20s. Small body guitars, L1s, L00s, that type of thing. It was a, it was a new thing for us, but people just kind of went crazy over it. It changed the way people thought about guitars, the way people thought about Gibson. To this day, we make quite a variety of small body guitars, great finger style guitars, great blues guitars. This is a limited edition Adirondack Red Spruce L00. We only made 65 of these for worldwide distribution. Uh, it's one thing I love about Bailey Brothers. They love getting the cool stuff, and they always do. Right, Danny? Danny has a few himself. Linda has a bunch, too. So, But it's just a wonderful... The nice thing about the small body Gibsons that are made historically, they just have a warmth and a roundness of tone that you don't get out of a lot of small body guitars. A lot of small body guitars can be tighter, a little bit crisper, but this is like just a wonderful tonality. The resonance is beautiful. Small body guitars were just were all Gibson made from the 20s into the 30s. Only one that could call us out on our name. but it wasn't done right. So we, we took his guitar collection, we replicated some of those guitars, we sent in the prototypes, and he said, well, I'll change this, this, and this on a couple. And when we got his blessing, we thought, okay, able to do that in a way that didn't open us up to quite as much scrutiny. Those, those forum guys have way too much time on their hands and, and love to find things to, to complain about. And so we try to, try to take that off their plate as much as possible. But the small body Gibsons, Small body guitars right now are very, very popular. The, the Martin Double O's and OM's just do incredibly well. This, the L Double O's work well for us. We make a 1928 L1 blues reissue. It's kind of like the old Robert Johnson blues guitar, which is just a wonderful, wonderful instrument. Keith had one, but he sold it, so I don't have one to show you here today. But if you are a finger picker or just a smaller person, we'd love to have you try out the variety of small body guitars that they have in the acoustic room today. Rob, myself, Jeff Sprayberry, all from Gibson will be here to help answer any questions. I do want to talk a second about what we are doing today. Before you leave, make sure you get signed up for our giveaway. We are giving away two $500 coupons off the sale price on any Gibson acoustic guitar in stock. And you have up to a month to redeem it, so you don't have to decide today. Uh, we're going to do one of them for, we're going to do the drawings at 5 o'clock. One of them is, must be present to win, but the other one isn't. So if you can't be here at five, you still have a chance to win one of the two, one of the two coupons. And again, it's $500 off the sale price on any Gibson Acoustic in stock. 
it's a chance to get a great guitar at the best price you'll, you'll ever get. So just make sure you, you get signed up for that before you head out today. If you don't think that you are in the market to use it respectfully, maybe just let the sign up be for people that will, but we hope everyone would sign up and take advantage of it because again, it's, it's the best price you will ever get on one of our guitars. So in the 20s and 30s, you had this size, early 30s, you had small body guitars. In 1934, 